Lesson 7.4, Solving Linear Systems by Multiplying First. So, this is elimination. We said it's the best way to solve two equations with two unknowns. And in this case, we've got a problem. These don't match up. I can't just add them straight down. So I look at them and I say, uh, hey, I know 2x. I multiply this one by negative 3. Leave the top alone. Everything gets multiplied by negative 3. Negative 6x minus 9y. Negative 15. Hey, now it's going to eliminate. So I go back to solving like we know how to do. Get y equals negative 1. Plug it back into either one. We'll use the top one. Solve for x. And we're never done until we check. 2 times 4 plus 3 times negative 1 equal 5. Remember we always use the original equation not the one that I altered here. That would be possibly introducing a mistake. 8 minus 3, 8 plus negative 3, and 5 does equal 5. So there it is. Extra step. Got to be a little intelligent. Look at the equations. See if something simple works. It can be tricky. Make sure all your variables are on one side. Some people try and wing it with all the variables just mixed up. I strongly recommend against that. And sometimes you have to multiply both of them. That's when life gets really, really challenging. So let's move this one over. Get 4x. And have the top one come down. And then we'll have the second one come down. And notice there's nothing neat. So what you want to do is get one positive, one negative. We'll just take this whole thing and multiply it by 3. This whole thing and multiply it by 4. When we do that, we get 12x plus 15y equals 105. This one we get negative 12x plus 8y equals negative 36. I know we did it right because the x's are going to cancel. 23y equals 69. Divide both sides by 23. y equals 3. Seems like it took us a long time to get there. Put it back in an equation. Equation is 2y equals 3x minus 9. 2 times y equals 3x minus 9. Six plus nine is fifteen. Divide both sides by three x equals 5. So go all the way back up here and we've got 5 comma 3. We use the bottom equation so we will check with the top equation. 4 times 5 plus 5 times 3 should equal 35. 20 plus 15 does equal 35. 35 equals 35. Now this one, the next one here, don't really have to mess with it. The variables are lined up. The top one has 6x, the bottom one is negative 2x. If I multiply the bottom one by 3, I should be good to go. So I'll just bring this one down. 6x minus 2y equals 1. Multiply this one by 3. 
negative 6x plus 9y equals negative 15. These cancel. I get 7y equals negative 14. I'm getting a little tired of doing all this math, so I'm going to start shortcutting. y equals negative 2. 6x minus 2 times negative 2 equals 1. 6x plus 4 equals 1. 6x Six x equals negative three. X equals negative one half. So negative one half, comma negative two. Check it. We use the top equations. We use the second equation. Negative two times negative one half plus three times negative two equals negative five. Negative 2 equals negative 1. 1 plus negative 6 equals negative 5. Negative 5 equals negative 5. It checks. So, more practice. This one sets up pretty nice. Let's just multiply the top one times negative 2. Get negative 4x plus negative 10y equals negative 6. Leave the bottom one alone. Bring it down as is. We're off to the races. Negative x equals negative 9. x equals 9. 2 times 9 plus 5y equals 3. Minus 18 on this side, minus 18 on this side. 5y equals negative 15. y equals negative 3. Write it in. 9 comma negative 3. Check it. Use the bottom equation. 3 times 9 plus 10 times negative 3 equals negative 3 27 plus negative 30 equals negative 3 negative 3 equals negative 3 so it works more busy algebraic work doable lots of potential for mistakes but check your work and see where you found the mistake you'll struggle early on but as you practice more and more you'll get more and more of them correct on the first try this one, the answer is negative 10 comma negative 5. Practice that. See if you can prove it. I'm not going to do it here. It's good practice for you. And finally, a word problem. They look horrible. They're not. The algebra is actually easy, but they take a little time to set up. Soccer coach purchases 10 soccer balls. We're going to call them um, X. And two soccer ball bags. We're going to call them Y. So he buys 10X plus 2Y. And that equals 155. Another coach does 12x plus 3y. And he gets 189. So now we're supposed to figure out how much a soccer ball costs and how much a soccer bag costs. I'm going to go with this one times negative 3. And this one. Times negative times positive two. So I get negative thirty x plus negative six y equals need the calculator for this one. Negative four hundred and sixty five. This one I get twenty four x plus six y. Looks like we did it right. They're gonna cancel equals 378 so add down we get negative 6x equals 
equals negative 87. Divide both sides by negative 6. X equals 14.5. Plug it back in. 10 times 14.5 plus 2 times Y equals 155. 145 plus 2Y equals 155. Divide by 2. So it looks like soccer balls cost 14.50 and soccer bags cost 5 bucks. Well, let's check it with the second equation. 12 times 14.5 plus 3 times 5 should equal 189. Hundred and seventy four plus fifteen should equal one hundred and eighty nine. Hundred and eighty nine equals one hundred and eighty nine. Lots of work to do. Get practicing. This will take you a long time. Once you get good at it, it'll sharpen up all your skills. Good luck.